I'm going to read from the Bible tonight. I believe I have a word from God for you. This is a divine appointment. God has brought you here tonight. I'm going to be reading from John chapter 14. Starting in verse 23. Jesus answered and said unto him, If a man love me, he will keep my words. And my Father will love him. And we will come unto him and make our abode with him. He that loveth me not keepeth not my sayings. Words of Jesus, Son of God. I pray that God gives you dreams tonight, that you see Yeshua, Jesus Christ, in your dream, and that you will know when you wake up that He is God. Hallelujah! Praise God! Praise God! Praise God! He that loveth me not, my sayings in the word which ye hear is not mine. You hear that? Jesus said, if you don't love me, keep his words, you are not his. There are many false converts running around that claim to be a Christian, but hate the word of God. Do not obey the word of God. False convert. God wants you to be a born again child of God, converted not just a church member, but God wants your whole heart. God wants you converted. Hallelujah. Ye here is not mine, but the Father which sent me. These things have I spoken to you, being yet present with you. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, the Comforter is not Mohammed. There's nothing comforting about a child molester. You hear me? But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name. Father, Son, Holy Ghost. The Father is sending the Comforter of God in the name of Jesus. He shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I have said unto you. Peace. Peace I leave with you. Jesus is offering to leave His peace with you. Will you receive the peace of God? Or will you reject the peace of God? You've got two choices in this world. Receive the peace of God or reject the peace of God. Receive the Prince of Peace or reject the Prince of Peace. It's up to you, heaven or hell. I'm dealing with your soul tonight. This is bigger than where am I going to go for New Year's to see the fireworks. This is about your soul. This is bigger than 2016. You don't know when there will be an earthquake. You don't know when there will be an asteroid. You don't know when you're going to die because you don't know when you are going to be born. You better get right with God, people. If you want to go to heaven, you better repent, put your faith in Jesus Christ. He is your only hope of salvation. Yeshua HaMashiach comes from Israel. He wants to save you. The Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name. 
He will teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance. Whatsoever I've said unto you, peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you, not as the world gives. Jesus is telling us tonight that he offers peace the world cannot give you. Your credit card will not give you peace. Your spouse will not give you peace. Your children, they sure won't give you peace. Your children's teachers, God only knows what they're going to be taught in public school. Jesus is offering you peace that the world cannot and will not and has not. The world does not have peace to give you. You cannot go to the store and say, I would like 10 pounds of peace. You're never going to have peace until you connect with God. Until you make your soul right with your Maker. You will never have peace. You might be on a mountaintop right now because you got something great for Christmas. Well, good for you. Your neighbor might steal it next week. What does it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his soul? Jesus said, don't store your treasures on earth where moth and rust can get to it. Store your treasures in heaven. It's a waste of time to be building, 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 storing, storing, storing down here, knowing the second coming of Christ is soon. The mark of the beast is soon, too. You know, taking the RDIF uh, chip is really close. Stockholm's already, uh, already made the mark of the beast. Some of their employees have taken it. Thank God they took it in the left hand. But if you take that mark of the beast, you can't buy or sell anything without it. You take the mark of the beast, you'll go to hell for sure. The Bible says so. Prepare, people. Are you ready for a crisis? What are you going to do when your world falls apart? Where will you find peace? Jesus is saying in His Word tonight, I give you peace. I leave you peace. You have to receive it. You have to receive the peace of God. God offers it to you tonight. Freely. Jesus offers you peace. He offers you joy. He offers you salvation. He offers you friendship. Maybe you're lonely tonight. Hey, Jesus Christ is my best friend. Everywhere I go, He's with me. Before I was a Christian, I was a lonely, drunk, lonely, drug addict. And when Jesus came into my life, He took my old heart out, gave me a new heart. Jesus said, Behold, I make all things new. New, 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 new. Thank God. I never have to wonder if I'm born again because I've changed so much. Changed so much. I used to be in darkness. Now I walk in light. I used to hate my parents. Now I love my parents. God changes the heart. And only God can change the human heart. You can't change yourself. Yeah, you can go to AA meetings. Yeah, you can get a psychiatrist. Why is there so many homeless people in huh? Sydney if God saves everyone? I'm homeless and I'm loving it. Jesus was homeless. It happens, man. I live in my car in America. Love it. There's worse things than being homeless.
leave with you my peace I give unto you, not as the world gives. I give unto you. See, Jesus has the authority from God the Father to give you people peace. And He wants to. He wants to. He wants to give you peace. He wants to give you love. He wants to give you fellowship. God only wants to love you. Many of you don't want the love of God. You say, I don't need God. I need sex. I need drugs. I need rock and roll. I need a career. No, you need to get saved. You need to get saved. You need to put your faith in the Son of God. You need that more than you need anything. The Bible says it is appointed unto man once to die. After that, the judgment seat. Are you ready for the judgment seat? Now I know you're ready for New Year's. You want to see the fireworks, you want to get a 12-pack, you want to have a party. Party's over, people. The party is over once you die. All the partying you did down here, you will give an account in heaven for it. You can party sober for God. I used to live for the devil. I was a crack smoking drunk. And Jesus took my crack pipe. Jesus took my alcohol. He took my cigarettes too. Hallelujah. He can set you free from smoking. I smoked 11 years. Jesus set me free over 20 years ago. Hallelujah. Now I breathe freely, ma'am. I breathe God's air without sucking the back of a cartel pipe. And it feels good. Hallelujah. All the money you people can be saving. Smokers need to hear a message of peace. The reason you smoke is because you have no peace. Those of you bowing down to idols, you're never going to find peace uh, lighting a candle in front of an elephant with a dot on its head. Or lighting a candle to uh, Buddha. Buddha will never help you. Buddha is in hell fire. And he's never going to get a glass of water. Ever, ever. Ever, ever, ever. He deserves hell. Why? Because God's word is clear. Have no other gods before me, says the Lord. God gave us ten commandments. They weren't ten suggestions. God's not trying to reason with us human beings. Well, if you... If you feel like worshiping me, do it. No. You either worship Jesus or you go to hell. That's the Bible. The Bible says, kiss the Son or receive His rod. Jesus said, those that believe in Him shall be saved. Those that don't believe in Him will be damned. And God's trying to help you tonight. God wants to save you. You can lock the Word of God all you want, but when you die, you will face God. You will give an account. I have to stand before God myself. And I have to give an account if I gave God's Word just like it says. I'm not going to be like the Pope in Rome the Pope in Rome says atheists go to heaven. Liar, liar, pants on fire. And six, how many billion, million people follow that goofball? If you follow the Pope, you're not a wise person. Because the Pope is not following Jesus.
success. Trying to be nice. Ye have heard how I said unto you, I go away and come again unto you. If you loved me, you would rejoice. Look at there. If you love Jesus, you would rejoice. Because I said I go unto the Father, for my Father is greater than I. See, God the Father exalts Jesus. Jesus exalts the Father. Holy Spirit of God is always going to point you to the cross of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit of God will never point you towards Mormonism, Jehovah's Witness, Catholicism, uh, Harry Krishna, Holy Spirit will not lead you that way because that's darkness. There's only one way to the Father. Jesus Christ said, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. No one goes to the Father except through me. Speaking of Jesus, what does that mean? It means the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus cleanses us from all sin. What can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Your church cannot forgive sins. If you're a Catholic, you need to read the Bible. If your church has no power, that's blasphemy. When a church says your sins are forgiven, it's blasphemy. The Bible says there's only one mediator between God and man, and that man is Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Only Jesus. Only the Lamb of God can forgive sins. See, Abraham was promised a lamb. Every day in Israel there is a fight on Mount Moriah. Why are the Muslims and Jews fighting every day on Mount Moriah? Because that is where Abraham's lamb was crucified. The lamb that Abraham was promised many, many years. The lamb of God was crucified on Mount Moriah. That's why there's fighting in Israel every single day. Because the devil hates what Jesus did on the cross. The devil hates Mount Moriah because that is where the devil was defeated on the cross. At the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light and the burden of my heart rolled away, rolled away. It was there by faith I received my sight and now I am happy all the day. At the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light, and the burden of my heart rolled away. It was there by faith I received my sight, and now I am happy. Your plums.